Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, coming at you finally with a TTM recap episode. Sorry there hasn't been any videos, it's just been pretty slow. Um, had two yesterday, I decided I'd just wait, and then nothing on Wednesdays, or Tuesday or Wednesday, I can't remember what it was. Um, I didn't get anything, so I was like, okay, um, I'll just wait till Thursday or Friday or whatever, but uh finally have some stuff to show. I think I have seven TTMs over, the, over three days here. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's actually uh, start with hockey. Um, former New Jersey Devils player. Um, he's known as a, and an enforcer back in the 90s. Um, Randy Mc, McKay with number 21 inscription. Very nice signature. Looks great in these cards. I've got an older hockey player. Um, I believe he's early 80s, maybe mid 80s. Played 1954 to 1972 for the Boston Bruins, Buffalo Sabres, Detroit Red Wings, New York Rangers, and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Floyd Smith. And that was also a quick success around the same time as Randy McKay. That's pretty cool. Those are from today. Um, this is another cool one. Um, very happy to get it back. This guy will probably end up being in the Hall of Fame someday. I would assume just because uh, he's a very good player. Um, even though he retired kind of early, some would think. But I think he'll probably end up in the Hall of Fame just because of his position, what position he played and stuff. But uh, Heath Miller. Uh, I've been waiting to get a, find a card for him to send out and... I actually ended up ordering one and realized I had this card in my collection, so I dug it out and sent it out immediately. So uh, that took um, maybe a, a month or more. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, he usually signs and spurts a lot. So I'll just send a whole bunch out, and then it'll be like this long wait, and then more will come in. So very happy to have him. I got a couple golf successes. These are from yesterday, actually. They signed two of my 4x6s. Uh, this is golfer Robert Wren. His Sharpie wasn't the best, so it didn't come out as bold, but you can still see it. Uh, the last name started kind of disappears in the picture, though, but it does look a lot better in person. The camera doesn't do it justice. And this one got really bent up in the mail, unfortunately. Like, the envelope was all bent all over the place, so this one did not come out that great. But Peter Persons, so you can see all the crease lines there. That was a bummer, but still happy to at least get it back. Uh, next, I've got an actress, um, Joyce Bolafont. four by six photo for me very pretty lady um, I don't know which episode that's from that might be from like the real McCoys or Perry Mason or something but she's played a lot of shows like flow uh, the Bill Cosby show back in 1969 uh, the Mary Tyler Moore show um, she's been shows like that uh, never really like a main role just kind of more like a supporting actress kind of deal but here's one later I think this is the Mary Tyler Moore show if I remember right her signature kind of disappears a little bit in the shirt there, but she made it a little bit smaller to fit the picture. That's all right. So it's pretty cool to add her. Uh, next up, very happy about this one. I was a little skeptical, um, thinking maybe these might be auto pen, but they most certainly are uh, are not because they're signed in pen. Um, but this guy, he was very famous. You guys definitely know him. Um, from the Kelly, or Regis and Kelly show, Regis Philbin. And the sign of pen says, Caleb, never stop trying. You're going to make it. Good luck. And then the pen kind of died up right there. But that's all right, Regis Philbin. And this one's really cool. Go. That's better. See the signature. 
So I sent to him once for my military collection. I sent him I think it was an outstanding Americans card. Never got that back, and that was sent out. I think it was the beginning of this year. So I decided let me print a couple photos and send to him. So I'm really happy to actually get him. So maybe that card got displaced and so 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 small or something. I don't know, but still happy. So I definitely think they are legit now because I wasn't sure. Like you know he's. You know, in his 80s, maybe they're an auto pen or something, but I don't, I don't think they are now. So they look legit to me. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and uh, last, I did a picked up a few eBay items. Picked up some 8x10s. I don't know for a really good price. I was just shopping around. Had some extra money, so you know me. <laughs> I went and bought some, but uh. For the World War II collection, this guy died in 2010, I believe. Cal McClish. I'm going to have to pick up the phone. Film. So, there's the signature. So, for a World War II collection, he fought for, it says like two tours or something like that. I can't remember what it was. Actually, I might be able to pull it up on Wikipedia right now. Let me pull it up real quick. He stayed in the Western Front of World War II. He returned to base in 1946. So in 1945, he was in the United States Army. So pretty cool. So very happy to add another World War II vet. An old player that can't get an autograph up through the mail. Let's see who's gone now. Uh, next up, uh, this guy I sent to. I have not heard back. I just sent an address. Here's his name, Joe Pepitone. This is an oldest one. Okay, for sure. This whole logo there. We're very happy to have that one. And there goes my little background. <laughs> now this one, I'm not sure if this will end up being a prize someday, but I got a, I got these photos for like three ninety nine, four ninety nine. So a lot of these are like cheaper than what they charge, or cheaper than you can get them for. I'm quite shocked they're on sale. This guy, I think he charges fifteen for cards. He might charge the same for photos. I don't know. But Hall of Famer Gaylord Perry. I picked that up. I was like. Four ninety nine. Why not? So I, I might end up making that a prize. Might keep it because the card didn't come out that great that I sent to him. It's kind of hard to see, but the signature's there. So I thought like an eight by to have an eight by ten is really cool. Then you could frame it or whatever, put it up the wall. Well, this one's really cool. I was really surprised to find this one. Great third baseman, especially defensively and offensively. I uh, had a nice comeback with the Yankees. Towards the end of his career, the Diamondbacks, Eric Chavez. Uh, he sometimes signs CTM, but I was like, for $4.99, I'm definitely going to pick it up. And it's got the certification, it's got the sticker for Romy and stuff like that. And finally, this guy, I don't know how much he charges for 8x10. I think it's $10 for cards, maybe 20 or 30 for a photo. So I got this for 5 bucks. Vita Blue. Awesome. I've been wanting to send it in the mail, but you know, really, I don't have to now. I got a photo, so that's all I have for you guys today. Um, hope you enjoyed, and uh, hopefully, I'll catch you tomorrow with some TTMs. Hopefully, it won't slow down. Uh, so that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy your weekend. I'm gonna get some rest, watch some videos, and uh, write some more letters and stuff. Get prepared for someone, a few these with the rest of the stamps I have, and uh, have a good weekend. So. Thanks guys for watching again, uh, if you're new to the channel definitely subscribe, hit that like button, just let me know if you enjoy the content, and uh, see you later guys, bye.